Come, Holy Spirit, move among us. Come, Holy Spirit, flow living waters, flow within us, flow living waters. Your love is alive. It's breaking the darkness It's bringing the light To soften the heart of stone Your love is alive It's breaking the darkness And winning the fight And bringing the orphan Usando, usando Good evening, church. It's so good to have you join us for prayer. Our topic for this evening is harvest. One of our leaders sent us this word. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. The symbolic meaning of harvest in scripture encompasses two main areas. One is God's provision for us, and secondly, God's blessing for others. He is the Lord of the harvest. He's got this. 
and it's his harvest field. We are his workmanship, each created to reap a specific area. So let's pray and trust the Lord of the harvest for a mighty harvest. You will also be given a time to pray at home, so don't be passive. Let's pray. So I'll be kicking, kicking you off this evening. My scripture for this evening is from Acts 4, 29, 30. And it says, And now, O Lord, hear their threats, and give us, your servants, great boldness in preaching your word. Stretch out your hand with healing power. May your miraculous signs and wonders be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. I have three prayer points. The first one is open doors and opportunities to proclaim the gospel boldly. Secondly, to pray for the Lord, for the word to grow and spread. And thirdly, pray for supernatural and, and, and miracles. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for a, for a mighty harvest, Lord. Father, we pray for an effective open door to proclaim your gospel, Lord. I pray, Father, that you open doors into communities, cities, and nations to plant churches. And I pray, Father, for open doors with our neighbors who are close to the gospel. Father, I pray, Father, that you give us that boldness, Lord, to go out and, 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 and be effective, Lord. And I pray, Father, for, you, for your word to grow and spread. Lord, give us great boldness in preaching your word. We pray for your word to grow and spread to the ends of the earth. Father, we thank you for a mighty harvest. All glory and honor to you, Jesus. Father, I pray, Father, that Outlook Church will be a pool of Bethesda, Lord. We pray for miracles. We pray that people will be healed and restored, not as a hype, but as a proof that there is a powerful, miracle-working God. Lord, I thank you, Father, Lord. I pray, Father, all be done for your glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Good evening. I just want to bring you a scripture on Proverbs 11 verse 30. The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. And can I just pray? Father God, I just come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I bring you each one of your children, and I pray that each one will be an anchor in the storm, because without faith it is impossible to please you, Lord. Let us look at the fields that's ripe. Lord, help us to produce a harvest of righteousness and peace, not only in us, but in everyone we meet and everyone we talk to. Father God, we need to focus on what you want us to do and not on what we see or what we hear, but what our hearts want towards you. And that is to win souls for you. As the harvest now is plentiful, but the laborers of few, Father God, give us the, the, the wisdom the, and the know-how to have the, the boldness to speak to everyone we see. Lord, now is the time we need to win souls for you. Father God, we need to do this till we meet Jesus face to face. Have an awesome evening. God bless you. I'm reading from 1 Corinthians 3 verse 6 to 9 and it says I planted the seed Apollos watered it but God has been making it grow so neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but only God who makes things grow the one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose and they will each be rewarded according to their own labor labor for we are co-workers in God's service. You are God's field, God's building. Let's pray. Father God, 
We just want to pray for the preparation of the soil, Lord. We just pray that you would prepare the people's hearts that, that you want to touch, Lord. We pray that the words we sow will fall on fertile soil, Lord. You are the one who works in, in people's hearts. You are the one that prepares the work, Lord. You are the reason why we do this, Lord. And we just want to pray, Lord, that you would send out more laborers into the field. You, in your word, you said the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few, Lord. We just want to pray for more laborers, more people who sow, more people who tend um, to, 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 the, to the seeds and, 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 and more reapers as well, Lord. Um, we know that... Uh, we need to focus on you, Lord. Sometimes we can get so driven to see the results, Lord, but you said some will sow, some will tend, and some will reap, Lord, and most likely it will be, you will be one, we will be one of those, Lord, and we just want to be focused on you, Lord, and trust in you, Lord, that whatever we sow will we'll reap, and yeah, we trust in you, Lord Jesus, and we pray this in your holy and almighty name alone. Amen. Mm -hmm. Good evening church, Matthew 9 verses 37 to 38 says, Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into the harvest. Let us pray. Father, you are the Lord of the harvest, and we pray earnestly that the Lord of the harvest would send forth laborers into the harvest field. Father, our help is in you, Lord. Help us to bring back lost souls to the kingdom. Let every unsaved soul begin to see the benefits of repentance of sin in the name of Jesus. Our hearts are burdened for the lost, dear God. Give us the compassion and concern for those that are separated from the Good Shepherd. Lord, help us to get out of our comfort zones and go, and that many will be called to go, to work in the harvest fields, to bring lost sheep back to the Good Shepherd. Father, let spiritual blindness be erased from the life of every unsaved soul across our harvest field in the name of Jesus. Father, let your angels sweep across our harvest field, drafting multitudes of souls souls into the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Dear God, raise up and equip more workers for your harvest field. Fill them with your spirit and empower them boldly to proclaim and represent you in your word to the world until you return. Help me to be obedient to your voice and do my part in advancing your kingdom on earth. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Hi, good evening, Outlookers. I'd love to share a word that I felt God press upon my heart earlier this week. It goes like this. In the agricultural space, farmers will tell you that good seed pays, it doesn't cost. What they are saying is that even though good seed might cost, the harvest that comes from that seed will far outweigh the cost that was paid for the seed. Of late, personally, 
I've seen in my own life, our business life, and elsewhere, the busyness factor exponentially ramp up in our lives. It would seem we are sowing a whole lot more, but the question I suppose remains, will the seed produce an abundant harvest? Are we sacrificing good seed for just more seed in our sowing? Wisdom is needed in this season to ensure that we stick to what God has called us to and work those fields, what we would deem to be our land. Let's not take good seed and turn it into average seed in this season. This is what I felt God speak to me and I'd love to share with you this evening. My three prayer points for this evening from this prophetic word is one, know your seed, two, work your field, and three, look for a great harvest. Let's pray together. Know your seed. Thank you, Father, that in your word, you tell us in Romans 12, in 1 Corinthians 12 and 14, that you have gifted us, that you have given us gifts, you have given us abilities, you have given us talents. I pray, Father, that each and every one of us would recognize what you have gifted us and that we would sow the seed that you have given us, Lord. Work your field. Father, your word teaches us emphatically that you reward faithfulness. Help us, Lord, to stay faithful to what you have called us to. Help us to work those fields well. And thank you, Lord, that in working those fields well, it then releases the, addition, the, the extra that you want to give us, Father. Thank you that you recognize faithfulness. Thank you that you reward faithfulness. And then lastly, look for a great harvest. In 1 Corinthians 3, friends, Paul says this, I planted, Apollos watered, but only God made things grow. When we sow faithfully into the fields that God has given us, the harvest is almost a given. Let's pray for a great harvest. Thank you, Father, that you do make things grow. Thank you, Father, that when we work to sow faithfully the gifts and the talents that you have given us into the call that you have placed upon our lives, Heavenly Father, that we can trust that there will be a great harvest. I ask, Lord, in Outlook Church, in our lives, that as we faithfully pursue you, that there will be an incredible harvest that is coming our way, both now and into the future. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are the King of the harvest. Thank you, friends. Good morning, everybody. Um, so my scripture for today is Matthew 7, verse 20. Um, just before that, Jesus just talks about a good tree can't um, bear bad fruit and a bad tree can't bear good fruit. Um, and then Matthew um, 7, verse 20 he says, Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. So I would just like to pray into that. Father God, um, we just come before you today, Father, we pray um, that Outlook Church as a church would be um, growing trees, uh, good trees that are bearing good fruit, Lord. We pray that people um, in the church would be recognized by their fruit and that it would be a testimony to you, Lord. Father, we pray um, that the good fruit will be harvested so that it can reproduce within the church, Father. We pray that... Um, that leaders will bring up leaders and we pray that um, yeah everything will just be carried over um, almost like onto the next generation father father we also then pray that the the fruit will be um, used to feed the community around us father we pray that um, everything that is harvested 
at Outlook Church will be used to feed the community within Richards Bay, Lord. We pray that um, it, it will trickle down into them, Father. Um, we can see the mess going on in this city, Lord. And we just pray that that the fruit of the Spirit will overflow onto the community. It will rub off on them, Father, and um, it will glorify you. We pray this in the power of the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And then I've got um, Galatians 24 to 25. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. So it's basically if you follow um, the fruits of the Spirit of self-control, that you will harvest the spiritual um, blessings of walking in step with the Holy Spirit. So let's pray. Jesus, I just pray that we as a church and individuals, we will come to the full realization that we belong to Christ Jesus, that we are yours, Lord God. I ask that you would help us and give us the, um, the strength and the um, tenacity to keep resisting and denying the flesh, that we would force our sins to, to bow down to you, Jesus. I pray and I ask that you please help us to walk in step with you, Holy Spirit, and that you would build up a need for you, like what we need oxygen, that how we fight for oxygen, we would fight to keep you in our lives and to keep you, to keep in step with you, Holy Spirit. Pray this all in the almighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hello everyone, I'll be reading from Luke chapter 8 verses 5 to 7. A farmer went out to plant his seed. As he scattered it across his field, some seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on and the birds ate it. Other seed fell among rocks. It began to grow, but the plant soon wilted and died for lack of moisture. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up with it and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil. The seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. Can we please bow our heads in prayer? Lord, I thank you for this time that we have to come together and pray in your name. I pray for continued encouragement as we spread your word. I pray for faith and boldness as we step out, regardless of how we feel in the moment. And just like the farmer, plant seed no matter where it falls. I pray that we would continue to trust you to work on people's hearts, even if we don't see the fruits of that seed in our lifetime. And even when it seems like an impossible situation, that we continue to trust you because you alone truly know everyone's hearts. Lord, I pray for those who don't know you. I pray that opportunity to meet with you presents itself and that the community you have set for them are ready to accept them and will look after them the way that you intend. Then for those who know you, but are struggling to keep walking with you because they're losing their faith, I pray that they would encounter you again, just like they did that first time, but this time with a greater measure. Amen. Hello, you faithful prayers. Thank you for joining us once again. I want to uh, read to you from Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7, as we're praying about a, a spiritual harvest 
Uh, instead of shame and dishonor, you will enjoy a double share of honor. You will possess a double portion of prosperity in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. I honestly believe God has given this to us as a church, as a prophetic promise. You will, you will, you will. Now, the three things that I want us to pray is at the start of that chapter in Isaiah 61, it says the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. In other words, let's pray as we've been going through this preaching journey for a fullness of the Holy Spirit like never before. It says, for he's anointed me to bring good news. We've got to have something to carry that we would begin to carry the good news. Uh, Peter said, silver and gold I've none, but what I have I give to you. We've got to have good news to be able to give good news. And then number three, it says he sent me. And verse two says he sent me. And later it says he sent me. We've got to be obedient to that sending. So please will you join with me as we pray. Father, thank you so much that you've given us your word. I'm reminded of Peter when he says, we've fished all night, we've caught nothing, but because you say so, I'll lower the nets again. You've given us your word. You will uh, enjoy a double possession of prosperity. We're trusting you for a spiritual harvest of souls. You've promised, you've spoken. And so, Father, with courage, I pray that you would come and fill us by your Holy Spirit, fullness of the Holy Spirit, more than ever before, that we would be empowered, that we would overflow. Lord, that you, we would be bringers of good news, that we would have a message to carry, that you would fill us with an assurance of the good news of the gospel, overflowing so that we've got something to give to people. Help us to be bringers of good news. And then number three, Lord, it says you sent. Give us the courage to respond. Just like you said to Joshua, I'll give you the land. You've got to go and fight for it. May we, Lord, have the courage to begin to go, to begin to speak, to begin to trust that as we speak your word, as we love people, as we knock on doors of opportunity, that we would see people responding like never before. Father, thank you that you're here, our prayer. Grant us a great spiritual harvest for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for praying with us. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17 says, Never stop praying. Continue praying and trusting Jesus. We'll see you on Sunday. Have a great evening. Goodbye.